Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the Cuddle widget brought to you by the Prime Slider add-on for Elementor. You may already be familiar with the sliders by Prime Slider, but Cuddle made it one step ahead with a fresh new slider layout that gives off a different vibe with a new set of navigation controls, text to image positioning and a new animation for the slider. We're going directly into the demonstrations now. First, you can adjust the total height of the slider from the first scroll bar in the layout section. Right below, you can change the width of the slider. Below is alignment control for the text content, an image size option, a bunch of buttons to show or hide some of the elements like title, subtitle or text and lots more. Next, from the slider section, you can customize the number of slides to be displayed on the screen. Let's make a few copies from the current ones to increase the number. You can see that the numbers in the navigation panel increase as well. Now let's open a slide box and inside you'll find some fields for customization. Let's start changing the title text, then the subtitle text, and then replace the filler image with the image you want to show in the slider. After that, you can still do more customizations like adding a title URL or editing the description text from the optional subsection. Let's do that here. In the same way, you can finish customizing the rest of the slides or slider items yourself. Next is the slider settings section where you'll find slider animation controls like autoplay and autoplay speed, pause on hover, loop, grab cursor and similar options like this. Now we can move to the fun part where we can customize the appearance of the slider using style controls. First comes the image. Here you can change the height and width of the images on the slides like this. Feel free to customize at your will until you find a nice looking layout. Then again, you can add an overlay color on top of the image as a background or color blending. Just try it and look. For the sake of showing you, let's turn off the autoplay quickly. Now back into the style settings. Let's pick a color for the overlay and change it more with CSS filters. Next, go to the title section and start changing the color of the text to white. Let's reduce the opacity a bit. For hover, we can put brighter white for a nice text effect. And the slider gives you the option to change the color of the first word separately. Then you can customize the title font using the typography option. Next in the subtitle section, we can do similar changes to the text to match it with the title. Then go to the text section and color the text in white. Also go for a new font style if you need it. Then we can move to the read more section to customize the button on the slider. First the text goes white. Then the border can go a bit white with less opacity. Also going for a different font settings for the button, from the font family to the letter style. Did you know you can add one more text style to the slider? Well, from the thumbs title section, you can do that by picking a suitable text color. Here also, you can stick to a different font style and of course, the thumbs title actually replicates the title text in bold and displays behind the image. After all of that, let's configure the navigation part. On top, you'll see a total of 23 arrowhead styles available to choose from. You won't see it until you add color to it. You can also go for a background colors for the arrows. Or maybe add a thin border around them and then change the border shape through the border radius value. Then add padding to increase the background field of the arrows. Then for hover, you can go for a strong white for the arrowheads. 
Also adjust the background and border colors. Right below you will find options to customize the fraction navigation bar too. First of all, you can change which side it will stay on. Then change the color of the field, background, text and everything. It just needs some touch and is good to go. Now fold the control panel and start looking at the finished design. Awesome, you made a magnificent piece of web design in the minimum amount of time. Hats off! Well, that's all for the Coral Slider widget. Please share, like and subscribe to this channel for updates on the upcoming tutorial videos. Stay safe and see you next time.